था धन करना चाहिए मनुआ भजन करना चा प्रेम लगाना चाहिए मनुआ प्रेम लगाना चाहिए मनुआ प्रीत करना चाहिए साधन करना चाहिए मनुआ भजन करना चाहिए प्रेम लगाना चाहिए मनुआ प्रेम लगाना चाहिए मनुआ प्रेत करना चाहिए साधन करना चाहिए मनुआ भजन करना चाहिए हंसे हरि मिले तो जल जंतु हो नित हंसे हरि मिले तो जल जंतु हो फल मूल खाके हरि मिले तो फल मूल खाके हरि मिले तो बादुर बादुरा साधन करना चाहिए मनुआ भजन करना चाहिए प्रेम लगाना चाहिए मनुआ प्रेम लगाना चाहिए मनुआ प्रेत करना चाहिए साधन करना चाहिए मनुआ भजन करना चाहिए पूजन से हरि मिले तो मैं पूजु तुलसी झाड़ तुलसी पूजन से हरि मिले तो मैं पूजु तुलसी झाड़ पत्थर पूजन से हरि मिले तो पत्थर पूजन से हरि मिले तो मैं पूजु पहाड़ साधन करना चाहिए मनुआ भजन करना चाहिए प्रेम लगाना चाहिए मनुआ प्रेम लगाना चाहिए मनुआ प्रेत करना चाहिए साधन करना चाहिए मनुआ भजन करना चाहिए तिरन भखन से हरि मिले तो बहुत मृगी आजा तिरन भखन से हरि मिले तो बहुत मृगी आजा स्त्री छोड़न से हरि मिले तो स्त्री छोड़न से हरि मिले तो बहुत राहे खोजा साधन करना चाहिए मनुआ भजन करना चाहिए प्रेम लगाना चाहिए मनुआ प्रेम लगाना चाहिए मनुआ प्रेत करना चाहिए 
साधन करना चाहिए मनुआ भजन करना चा दूध पीने से हरि मिले तो बहुत वत्स वाला दूध पीने से हरि मिले तो बहुत वत्स वाला मीरा कहे बिना प्रेम से मीरा कहे मीरा कहे बिना प्रेम से मीरा कहे मीरा कहे मीरा कहे बिना प्रेम से मीरा कहे बिना प्रेम से नहीं मिले नंदलाल साधन करना चाहिए मनुआ भजन करना चाहिए प्रेम लगाना चाहिए मनुआ प्रेम लगाना प्रेम लगाना चाहिए मनुआ प्रेम लगाना चाहिए मनुआ प्रेत करना चाहे साधन करना चाहिए मनुआ भजन करना चाहे साधन करना चाहिए मनवा भजन करना चाहे भजन करना चाहे भजन करना चाहे नमस्कार एट फर्स्ट माय प्रोनाम टू ठाकुर मायन सामीजी, ऑनरेबल उद्धोखो महाराज, रेस्पेक्टेड सामीजीज, एसिस्टेंट सेक्रेटरी महाराज, टीचर्स एंड अदर डेलीगेट्स एंड माय डियर सिस्टर्स एंड ब्रदर्स। आई एम वेरी सॉरी, माय इंग्लिश इज़ नॉट गुड, सो आई नीड टू टेक द सपोर्ट ऑफ माय रिटेन स्पीच। हाउएवर, आई एम थैंकफुल ट� all for having offered me such a wonderful opportunity of sharing my beliefs, feelings, and experiences with such a beautiful audience. I am no doubt a humble one, but it is my good luck that the personalities like you give me audience and importance, as I did something uncommon on the common track of the world. People wonder how I could do it, how I could actualize my dream. Since my childhood, Swami Vivekananda's epoch-making doctrine, service to man is service to God, always steers me and beacons me to the world of light and joy. I was then a student of class five only. I was then a boy of nine only. The village where I still live is a remote one, far from the modern amenities, far from the rage of modernization. More than 12 years ago, the situation was ours. I noticed that some stray children wandered here and there without aim, like a sheep without the radar. I made up my mind to do something good for these helpless children. I did not waste time to give it a concrete shape. Unlike other boys, after returning from school in the afternoon, 
I collected these children and started a school in my family backyard with a very few boys and girls. Though at first I took it as my game, gradually it became my passion, my nice dream, my life and heart. Number of students started to increase and my school became a dreamland for the students. It was named Anondo Shikha Niketan. Anondo means joy. I think my school is a place where joyful learning is possible at every step. People noticed what was happening and became interested to know about our activities. And they came forward and started contribute as best they could. We dream that thousands of students will read, sing, and play with joy and meet in Anandu Shikha Niketan to become a real man in future. We dream that our school will become an ideal one to attract people from far and near. It is our vow that we must not break down. We must proceed through the fire and water of life to reach the summit of success with the generous help from all quarters. Now, I want to tell that education is like a river, and we the human souls are like boats. We make our voice towards perfection through this river. If this river remains full to the brim, we feel no problem at all to complete our life's journey. But if the river teems with various aquatic problems, a black fall comes down on our life. I have learned from the burning message of Swami Vivekananda that education is being and becoming. Education is not a bundle of bookish knowledge, not a pack of information, but it is man-making. In our surroundings, we notice thousands of peoples. They are people only, not man. Man is a special gift of God, a special creation of Almighty. Our motto should be fulfill our life's journey, being a man and man only, and it is possible only through proper education. We can remember Samiji's message, education is the manifestation of perfection already in man. So we must attain this perfection through education. With this end in view, I started my school not to impart some bookish knowledge to make self-centered person, but to create the real man of our world. For the other young people, I want to say that just because you are young in age, it does not mean you are helpless. Do what you can. We need to make a better world for our future generation. And to make progress, this will come from young people in society trying to make good change. We must help ourselves and improve our society. We young people have fresh eyes and clean hearts. We have enthusiasm. We have hope. We can inspire and help each other to do good. For me, education is most important, so I started teaching. You have to find what your passion is. Then you can follow that passion and begin to make a difference in your community. Start with small things, and slowly things will grow. Also never give up. You will face many problems as a young person trying to do something new and different. You may face opposition from society and family. But now I am convinced that nothing can stand against firm determination firm conviction and firm will. The only things you should have into your heart are courage, purity, honesty, and above all, love. Love is a thing which can conquer everything. Love is a thing which can make us monarchs of all we serve him in the realm of man's heart. Actually, I heard the call of love in the core of my heart and proceed 
and ultimately succeed. I think that we should have the motto, we must do something extraordinary in this soul human life. We must leave a mark on the soil of this earth. If you question me, where is the fountain of all of my inspiration, energy, and enterprise, I shall say it is Swami Bekanandu. I try my level best to follow his footprints. From him, I have learned that the better we become, the greater our country will be. Our father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi, addressing a gathering at the Belur Mott on the birthday celebration of Swami Vivekananda in 1923 said, I have come here to pay my homage and respect to the revered memory of Swami Vivekananda, whose birthday is being celebrated today. I have gone through his works very thoroughly. And after having gone through them, the love that I had for my country became a thousandfold. I ask you, young man, not to go away empty-handed without imbibing something of the spirit of the place where Swami Vivekananda lived and died. The present world is like a blast furnace where our humanity, our peace, our everything are melting. We should not keep mum, should not let everything pass in an abnormal way, should not pay a vacant look at our destruction and devastation should not play an inactive role in such crucial moments. I think we should hear the clarion call of Swami Vivekananda, arise, awake, and stop not till the goal is reached. His eternal message was not politically motivated, and yet it so powerfully affected the enormous depths of human life that individually and collectively man we are bound to apply these ideas to various fields of life. Swamiji said that the national ideals of India are renunciation and service. But today we have forgotten these ideals. We have been excessively preoccupied by the Western culture, by the materialistic outlook. We should sum this excessive desire for worldly things. We should look deep into our heart with a selfless, guiltless, stainless heart. We should renounce our earthly pleasure to render our service to people who are still unfed, unclothed, and unsheltered. With muscles of iron and nerves of steel, we should conquer all the miseries of life. These two lines embossed to the tablet of our mind. My list to go before I sleep, and my list to go before I sleep. However, education for all is my dream, and it is my honest hope that you all must extend your helping hand to actualize my long cherished dream. It is also my hope that your blessings and good wishes will render a great help to increase the goodwill of my work, and it will also help me to bring more words for one nation. Thank you very much for your time today. Again, my respect to Thakurma Samiji, the Samijis of this ashram, Mott, and the other distinguished Samijis, and all my dear brothers and sisters. Joy Samiji, Namaskar. So, Right now, the government of Karnataka, in their pre-university syllabus, they gave my biography as a lesson. So the students, so the students of Karnataka, they are really impressed by my work, and they are also want to do this kind of work. And I think Karnataka people are like me very much more than uh, more than West Bengal, and so I treat. <laughs> And, and I treat that Karnataka is my second home. And every places in Karnataka where I visited, everybody gave me the support. And I think 
in near future in Karnatok students and not only Karnatok students, in mostly in South Indian students will follow this kind of work. And these are all possible only through the Samiji's message because I was in my firm determination, uh, firm determination because you know that such a small age or young age is <laughs> will be different, but through his message, I actually his message, and um, I will work forever, and I want to be a student forever, and I will work for the people, for my nation. So thank you very much. <laughs> Namaskar. They want to listen to you. <laughs> and you know that in India, it is very difficult to do a good work because lots of societal, political, because we create the problem. Gods are never sent me the problem. We create the problem. So through my tender age, I faced lots of opposition from my society. But there is the Ramakrishna mission in Sargachi, Swami Ganloka Nandu Maharaj, she gave me the good advice because today we cannot find the people who are giving you the good advice. He always give me the good advice and not only that, our government, Buddha Dev Bhattacharya's government, he also always helped me. And, and all kinds of people of, in my country, also for abroad, they are also help, they are extend their helping hand for my institution. And you know that Maharaja told that I am the TED fellow. Uh, you know about TED Talks? Yes. So, in TED India, it was in uh, Mysore, Man Mysore Infosys camp in 2009 when I was just 16 years old. They, uh, they gave me the fellowship, TED fellow. And uh, you know that TED is a great platform all over the world. So in Canada, I also spoke in TED conference, and USA, Michigan University, and the Bengali Association of Southern California, they are also invited me. In Paris, with the help of the UNESCO, Millennium Goal Development of uh, United Nations, they have the topic about empowering you to be changed. So they are, mo uh, they are, I was only the speaker from Asia, and most of the speakers from Western countries, they, they told about their ideas, but there I gave my speech, it was totally a spiritual talk like that, and I told them that my talks will be different, and I also told about Swami Vivekananda in all places, because he is my role model. And uh, however, <laughs> however, I again uh, wanted to tell you that my dream is education for all, so please come forward, come forward to work for our nation to make a great, greater future of our country, India. Okay, and namaskar again.